let's start section number one, especially with temperature. Then we continue with temperature versus heat. So first thing first, what's the definition of temperature? And before giving it to you, I want you to think about what do you think is temperature? I love it when the students make their, uh, let's say, meaning or what do they understand for that. And I see a lot of problems, especially when they confuse heat with temperature. And especially because in daily life, we use it almost exchangeable. Like if high temperature means high heat and, high and low heat means low temperatures. And even though you might in some cases be right, in some cases you are absolutely wrong. So just be sure to get the idea of what is temperature in this little video. Let's say the temperature is always proportional. That means that if that property goes up, temperature will go up. And if that property goes down, temperature goes down. To the average kinetic or kinetic energy of the random microscopic motions of their constituent microscopic particles. So I know it doesn't make that much of sense, but imagine you are in a small substance here and you know it's made of little substances. And the faster they move, the higher the temperature it will be. So for example, you know that something at 60 degrees Celsius that's about uh, something about 125 Fahrenheit for you who use English system. Uh, you know that this is super hot. Actually, if you, it's, it will be like a cup of coffee here. And if you put your tongue here, it will burn. That's because the, they move a lot and they will change a lot of heat. But let me not give you anything about heat. You know it will hurt. It's because of the average kinetic energy of each one of them and I say average because actually one might be going slower, one might be going faster, one might be going at the average speed, etc. So the actual average kinetic energy is measured with this temperature concept. A uh, very important concept here guys, please learn it either if it makes logic to you or by heart but you need to learn it like absolutely it's this is an intensive property which means that this does not depend on the quantity so if I tell you one kilogram of water is at 100 Celsius which will be the boiling point of water 212 Fahrenheit for you English speaking systems and let's say 100 pounds of let's say salt at also the same temperature what does it mean? It means that actually the average kinetic energy on both, even though you have one kilo here and 100 pounds here, it's exactly the same. So if you were to watch the average speed of a molecule of this water and the average speed of one molecule of the pound of salt, you will see that they move at the same velocity. So hopefully you get the idea that it doesn't depend on the velocity, on the mass. It depends more in the temperature, guys. So that's why it's an intensive property. So if high temperature, once again, means the average speed of molecules is fast. Hopefully you get that by now. And when I mean bulk behavior, it's, that's why we use average, because you, you cannot measure each molecule of them. So that's why we use temperature. It makes a lot of... Uh, helpful stuff and it might be either by the detection of heat radiation or by particle velocity or kinetic energy actually this depends uh, for example particle velocity is the water hits the thermometer the thermometer gets warm and the temperature goes up that's what I want to tell you with that let me give you a visual representation of the temperature let's say this is the container and the gas molecules you probably you know some are let's say if it's short it's a slow if it's average is let's say normal velocity and if it's long it's fast but you know if you were to calculate each one of them you will see that the average velocity will be I don't know one certain velocity I will say x velocity and you know that that is proportional to the temperature so hopefully you know that if you increase the velocity, you will increase this value and you will increase this temperature. And once again, probably you have this ice cube here because it is cold, they don't move that much. And maybe you also have liquid, 
you know, it won't move. But gas is completely crazy because it has higher temperatures and they are more free to move everywhere and the velocity, of course, is higher. So that's, once again, the velocity at which these molecules move are proportional to the temperature. So if the temperature is low, you know that the velocity is low. If the temperature here is okay, average, the velocity will be average. And if the temperature in gas is high, of course, the velocity will be also high. So once again, they give you this note, cool gas, fewer and less energetic collisions. So they are slow and they don't collide that much. In a hot gas, or they mean high temperature gas, there are more and more energetic collisions. They are crashing everywhere and having collisions everywhere and that increases the temperature. And that was a little overview on temperature. We're going to continue with the temperature scales here in the next video and on how we measure temperature in an objective numerical data. So see you next. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.